Take two. Hi. How do you do? Hello, people of YouTube. What's up? Hi. My name's Ashley. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Whatever. Thank you to all the new subscribers and to those lingering and to those who have been subscribed for a while. I appreciate you. If you're wondering where I've been, severe hermit mode had to get my shit together because I was not okay to help anyone because I need to help myself. And that might be a message to you too. Don't be trying to... If you need a break, take a break. So... I've been expecting you. Today's video, today's pick a card, is about new beginnings. Because tomorrow, which is will be February 2nd, is Embolic Bridget's Day. So Wiccan Pagan Holiday. Where... To put it simply, it's about rebirth, growing something new. You've been building shit through the winter and it is time to finally see it come to light, see your dreams coming into reality, see your manifestations, seeing what you've been building, what you've been working on, which is something I've already said, but it's time for those new beginnings. You have to release your old self in order to make room for something new. And Bridget, she is, if she is indeed based on a goddess, I think she's goddess of fire. I just heard this, but I'm questioning myself because I do that often. You could probably relate. Anyway, with the, it is a fire holiday. I'm a fire sign, so you know what I'm gonna be doing. It's also, if you are looking to celebrate, clean your house, clean out your energy just clean make room for that new beginning back to Bridget in the goddess of fire I just saw everyone who's done the shadow work who's been through the shit Phoenix rising from the ashes it is time to birth yourself again to burn away all of the negativity all of the things that you're wanting to leave behind release it just make the way, make room for this new beginning because dreams about to come true, amazing things are coming to light. You could be, if you're looking for answers, you're looking for that clarity, it's going to come as soon as you hum, release the ego, just your answers will come in the right time. Is there anything else I need to say? If you're wondering, no, I have not moved yet. And if you want a private reading, check the description box below. If you want to join me on Patreon, I'm going to be... You get first access to videos. I teach things on there. I don't have it fully planned out yet. But I'm hoping we can grow as a community on here and on Patreon. If you want to help support the channel, support me. Do you know I want to teach? I just have to gather my thoughts. We were on psychic abilities, but then life happened, and I need to get 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 together. I'm gonna to go live on there. I'm gonna go live places, but I just haven't yet. It's life. Okay, so for the groups. Group one is the Eiffel Tower. Group two is Indian Arrowhead, it's Black Obsidian. Group three is, did I say Native American? Because the guys corrected me. I might have said Indian and the guys corrected me. Native American. I don't remember what I said, but okay. Uh, group three is the Owl. Group four is Zaki. Some of you are looking for those answers. You find them in the right time. So, you could also, use, all of you could be seeing number synchronicities like 432, 321, 123, Just to know if you do, you're on the right path. Keep going. Now, let's get started. I'm not gonna lie, I already started this and then I had a situation. And Life happened, so we've restarted. Let's not have that happen again. Okay. Let's 
divine timing emperor bold freya bold at least your adventurous side take risks and be daring maybe you're wanting to you've been suppressing the real you if you hear yodeling cats in heat i've locked myself in the bedroom just know she's not dying no animals were harmed in the making of this. She's just in heat. Anyway, any hoosers. You've been suppressing your real self. It could be for various reasons. But whatever the reasons are, you're finally saying, Fuck it, I am me. If you don't like me, bah. Might be too bold, too sassy, too whatever that's conditioning what you were taught to believe that you have to be this way in order to be accepted for example i have to be normal i can't be a darkling i can't be goth i can't have dreads or i have to wear you know jeans and regular t-shirt can't like metal in order to fit in in my wee little town i used to uh, had my doubts on that and almost went into that and gave in so I could be accepted and I can pass out free bookmarks. Hi, I'm an author. Books in the description too, I think. If you want a private reading, did I just say that? If you want a private reading, description box. I'm a mess today. Jeez. Anyway, it took me realizing I would be fucking miserable if I were to be normal. If I wasn't accepting and embracing all that I am. My darkness. And I'd be giving in, to, giving in to the masses. Giving in to what to conditioning, to what people expect. If you're weird, you're a fellow weirdo, welcome to the neighborhood. Hi. Then you were put on this earth to change that shit. You're meant to change the way, people's way of thinking that you have to be ABC to fit in to the alphabet. What if you want to be Z? Bitch. So always be yourself, never suppress yourself. And if you're around people who make you feel like you want to suppress yourself, maybe you should be around different people. If it's family, be around those people less. And a part of the phoenix rising from the ashes and letting go and burning away all the shit is releasing relationships that could be with family members. You still have to encounter them, but you won't be as close. At one point in spirituality, you'll be talking to them and it feels like you're speaking different languages. It sucks, but if they're meant to, they'll catch up with you eventually. Then on the spiritual path, on the enlightenment, on your spiritual level this also goes what other message do they need to hear if it's your love life maybe you're suppressing yourself maybe you're in a relationship and having to suppress yourself you might need to say goodbye to that relationship because you should be able to be yourself no matter what with your person. You should be able to talk to them about anything. You shouldn't have to condition yourself. We're here to... All, all of us spiritual and Latin folks is here on this planet to... Bring back unconditional love. Love without conditions. No one's going to try to change you. You don't want to... You don't want to change them either. That is unconditional love. If someone's trying to change you, it's not healthy. You've got to do what's best for you and get up. Or kick them out. Either way. It's going to suck and it's going to hurt, but it's going to be well worth it. It's a message for certain someones or person. I don't know. Okay. Individuality still goes in with if someone really is into art or suppressing the urge to be in the art or you just lost your interest in art lost interest like you used to be like really into it maybe tattoos too maybe you have tattoos maybe you have a moon tattoo 
Är det okej? Okay? Mm. you just lost interest. And this could be not a part of your spiritual path. Or you could just be going through some shit. I was an artist. Was. Still am. And I just went through some shit and I just wasn't into creating anything. And then, boom. I just wanted to keep creating. So dig deep. Is art something you're passionate about? Or is it something you used to be passionate about? And it's not f for your highest good right now. If not, you have to let it go. You can still admire it and do it like possibly on the side. But... It could have been your ego thinking, I'm going to be a famous artist. Nothing wrong with that. But it's the ego that feeds into the, that meaning of more. When you're following your passions, you should just do it because you love it. That's a lesson I had to learn when, damn, I'm Southern. When I was, what made me come back? I was falling into the lack of mentality where... I constantly need more. Need more people to want me to give them readings. Want this. When I forgot that I just want to help. I want to teach. I want to get messages to the people who need to hear them. That's the part of unconditional love. Also, message for a lot of you. You deserve the love that you show other people. You treat other people with unconditional love, it's time for you to be treated that as well, and you need to allow yourself to be treated in such a way. So a lot of us have gone through so much shit that the lack of mentality. We think no one else can treat us the way that we treat other people. Maybe because we feel we don't deserve it. Dig deep on that one. If that triggered you, find out why. Fulfillment. This goes into the lack of mentality. number seven can mean something to you four two three nine th th those are just ones that came to mind <sighs> so what is blossoming for you is many opportunities to chase your dreams actually you don't really need to chase your dreams you just need to do it and if it's meant to be Whatever's meant to be in your life, you don't you don't gotta chase it. It's just gonna be following you, seeking you too. While you're on that path, opportunities are just going to present themselves to you. Like, say you are an artist. It's gonna be someone sees your work and it's like, hey, can you paint me this and I'll pay you? Or I have an art gallery. Do you wanna have this piece in there? things are going to present themselves like that. That's how you will know you are on your path and you'll just feel it. You'll love it. There will be times when the ego takes over again and you go back into the lack where you don't find enjoyment from it. I'm talking to you fellow, fellow artists there. Or you see the lack of instead of creating something from nothing. That's what I love about art, painting, sculpting. Just creating something from a lump of clay for the sheer enjoyment of it and to see well, to bring joy to yourself because that's how, why I do it yeah so are you following your path and doing what you enjoy do you feel good while doing it maybe the key Thing. Maybe you're searching for your path and it could have something to do with Paris if you're drawn to that area or there could be something to do with you need to heal some shit that happened in Paris, past life, present life, whatever. So one of you, one of you, some of you, if it's resonating, okay. We're an artist in Paris and, or you are an artist in Paris. And something could have happened with someone and you just you went down a rabbit hole of depression and you're having trouble finding yourself again your individuality and that fulfillment that you used to get for simply from simply creating something from nothing but
You have to find that love within yourself, the love of creation, before you meet the one. Do what you enjoy, and if you are looking for, say, your emperor, the emperor to your empress, it's not going to happen with a lack of mentality. Find it, find the love within, and then express it outwardly, maybe through creating, or just expressing, expressing, expressing. And love is going to come to you in many ways. It's not just a romantic love. I don't know if that was a bug, but I totally just seen something, or a dust particle. I don't know. Anyway. It's more that needs to be said. Maybe you need to hear it from your guides. You do. You need to meditate on it. Maybe on this reading. See what comes to mind. See where your heart's at. See where your mind's at. Where do you go? Some of you with the art thing are gonna... Well, it, the art's just representation. It could be anything that you used to find pleasure in that you just don't anymore. And something needs to be released about it and you're gonna to want to cry or just release it in some other way maybe by creating either way release it don't hold it in don't fight it so once you release it new beginnings you're gonna make room for new to come in new fulfillment that you're gonna find within yourself because fulfillment is a lack of mentality a lack of mentality it's lack of mentality where you feel the need to have, there's an outside source for your fulfillment when it's in you, in you all along. Just find joy in the little things. If you're in a deep depression, that's how you crawl your way out one joyful moment at a time. And it's gonna be a process of going back and forth, back and forth, up and down. But keep fighting that depression and check to see if there's anything outside of yourself making you so depressed. Could be your environment, could be negative entities, negative whatever attaching themselves to you because the one who is, I feel a lot of you are highly psychic and you might not even know it. And if you are depressed, you could really, negative things can really fuck with you that way. So always go within. Check your surroundings. Like mentally check and see if there's anything there. And you need to cut the cords to people you've encountered. So that can really feed on your energy. So you're highly psychic and you need to accept this about yourself. So you have great things that you need to do in this world. I'm calling you out. Okay, black cat. Centering. Really need to ground down, meditate on this reading, on whatever. That might mean something to you. Maybe you're drawn to the artwork of that there. I don't know, if it means something to you, follow it. Follow the trigger, trace it. I'm hearing old jazz playing, so you might need to heal something from the past life, or you could just like old jazz. I do. Old jazz could make you calm down and meditate. Go into a trance, like meditative state where you just calm and shit. I don't know. I don't have all the answers. Do you believe a soulmate is coming for you? Coming for you. I started love, it's love, is love, and it transcends death. If it's not love, like outward source, a person, it's love from within. Love from your angels and guides. You are never alone, even if you feel like you are. We all connected. I see it as a house, but a house and everyone has different rooms 
different floors different floors Vicky I'm kidding what you need to know is fortune meets opportunity staying in the same place where you are mentally the lack of mentality is not going to get you anywhere it's not going to get to your goals I feel some of you getting triggered right now the lack of mentality means ego ego is a defense mechanism is something we've it's it's not a bad thing it's there to teach us because we are all human we all have egos and it's not you know it's, I'm not I'm not coming at you I'm not attacking you and the fact that you think I'm attacking you is your ego because lack mentality is or the ego likes to play the victim. Think of why I'm offending you. What's the reason? Why do you care so much what a complete stranger has to say? Trace the triggers. And as soon as you go back to unconditional love and conscious, where basically you're Switzerland, life happens and you can just control your reaction to life happening. Fortune meets opportunity. Once you realize that you are fortunate in all aspects, even if this is that and blah 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 you s there's still abundance around you even if it's not coming in the ways you want you are abundant it's time to see that like, look at the eyes see what your higher self is saying see what your angels and guides some of you are really into writing you could be channeling that way so see what you have to say just let the words flow out some of you are into can do automatic writing just channeling letting your angels of god speak through you letting your higher self speak through you Spider's gonna mean something to you. It could. If it doesn't, it's fine. But to some, it will. This is spider community and web weaving. And that symbol on its back butt area. It means something. I'm just blanking on the something that it means. Natural cycles of things. Evolution. This is advice and give group one. If you're hurting right now and you just want to cry, let it out. What I do is listen to basically, I just listen to country music and I let it out. I trigger myself to cry and think of all the shit that makes me want to cry and it just released. Okay, but and some of you are your heart shower is really clogged up. Which is why you might feel feels heavy. Or it's just achy. You know, if it's still achy, you might need to go to the hospital. But it could be. Just try to release, cry, release. Imagine the energy there, swirling vortex of energy. And as you exhale, you release it. Cut the cords to mental cords, connections. You connect with people as you encounter them, they form when you encounter them. This could stem from unnecessary fear as well. It's 
scared of the outcome, scared that you're going to fail. Embrace that shadow. You can only fail if you give up. Give up the hope. Give up the unconditional love. Give in the ego. Feed that ego. Creating for the ashes. By right, seeing wise action. It's really something to do with eyes, too. They're watching you. I'm watching you, too. Creepy. <laughs> Anything else I can tell? Group one. So much they want to say. But it is time to be your authentic self. Whatever that means to you. Whatever you're trying to suppress, unsuppress it. And that is all I have for you. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Bye. Let's put that there. Put that there. Shit. What? Group two. Holy shit. If group one was... That was long. Got a lot to say. Group two. That's good. That's tea. That's coffee. It's delicious. I hope so. You've been in those thinky thinky thoughts, haven't you? <laughs> you are a very scattered brain. So, the new beginning that is going to arrive to you is new beginnings. Yep. So, thought, sacred space, create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. You need to meditate. Go out, uh, go out in nature, go where you're comfortable, listen to the birds chirping. I hear the birds chirping. So just be out in nature and reconnect with your old self, with your higher self, six of cups. That means reconnecting. Past, childhood, friendship. You could be reconnecting with someone, an old flame. Or this could be reconnecting with yourself. <sighs> Number 13, summon. Uh, okay, let's see. Damn. 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 Okay. <laughs> you have been doing the work. You've been meditating. You've been reconnecting with your higher self, with your younger self. You've been working on those shadows. You've been healing. You've been, do you've been doing the work. You've been you're doing it all and now it's time to summon you on the right path you've been doing this healing this healing that healing and you are a healer you're meant to heal other people it could be with words something you just heal people maybe you're just energy because you're a very spiritual person high priestess spirit number seven which means miracles which is what's coming to you because, ugh. Joy, rejoicing in the present. As you're manifesting, summoning, manifesting, you have to remain in this energy, the joy, and just being present at the moment and just living your life to the fullest. And yeah. So what is coming is whatever the hell you're manifesting. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing that energy work. And you are also a medicine woman, man, medicine person medicine human if you have okay i can't remember anything really i have problems remembering my parents birthdays only reason i remember my sisters is because hers is the 20th and mine's the 21st so i have learned through that that we remember what we already know <laughs> for example i know i am a in training medicine human I love natural remedies. I connect with nature and I just know certain things. You can tell me, okay, what do I need for a burn? Obviously, aloe vera, creating an ointment paste, and you can wrap it in an aloe vera plant. There's some other shit that you could go put in there. I would have to research it to find out for sure, to confirm with what's going on in my head. But anyway, you could be like this too. You could be a nurse. You could just have a natural healing energy, which you're an empath. If you are an empath, you do. 
I need to breathe and slow down, but some, if you can't understand me, it was just like, whoo, what? The message probably wasn't for you. We understand what we're meant to hear. We hear what we're meant to hear. That's what it is. If I'm triggering you, find out why I'm triggering you. You definitely just have a peaceful energy. Just look at her. She's so chill, so peaceful. You just want to... Okay. This is confirmation. Whatever you are bringing to the table, whatever you've been pulling towards you, it's seeking you to. And as you remain in this present moment, you working with spirit. You do working together. You should go this way. Mirror imaging. You working together and gonna create magic. I want to clarify some things. What exactly are you manifesting or what else do you need to know? Apparently nothing. Because all the cards at the floor. Except these. On the bottom, undying love. That could be what you're manifesting. tell group two what does group two need to know by the way i'm using goddess guidance oracle what else do they need to know and what are they manifesting you're manifesting disaster just kidding transformation that's already occurred for most of you and they're just gonna go with it see bright future on the floor Independence, financial things, endeavors, endeavors, job, words, speaking. <laughs> your independence is the foundation for your strength and success. Whatever you've been manifesting, career, an inkling on what you should do with your life. I'm mainly getting finances here. Whatever you're manifesting around finances, a new job, where to go? I just saw third three, third three. Yeah. Well, you bringing it. You getting it. That's it. You was manifesting that shit. So manifesting peace. Or you are at peace. You have to remember to stay at peace. Check yourself every now and again. When you start to get all. This isn't gonna come. <laughs> And go back to center ground go back to joy and living in the present living in the present you can see it a little bit and you're gonna be bringing that shit to the table or making it fall off the table because you were supplied for today and all of tomorrow's infinite supply you probably can't see that but this is the infinite supply sedina Think. That is all you need to know because you already know it. If it isn't, if the message didn't resonate, it wasn't for you. But for those with whom it did, why are words so hard for me? Did you know you got it together? So keep having it together and teach people how to get their shit together too. Help. <laughs> okay. Um. 
Thanks for watching. If you want a private reading, also love is in the air for you. If you're manifesting that, it's your confirmation. This is just general reading, so if it doesn't resonate, don't come at me. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, that was a disaster. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Sound now, fix that later. Let the bodies at the floor is running through my head. Do you know that song? Do you like that song? Such a jam. Such a jammy jam. Group three, the owl. The owl. You know, sometimes you get an accent. I do. So what? This is the new beginning. Abundance. It's abundance in all its forms. This is going to be multiple scenarios, multiple messages coming through. So buckle up because this should be interesting. Got quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. This once again goes with whatever you're manifesting. You need to remain in the sense of unconditional love and conscious energy and not ego energy. I'm trying to slow down, but the words want to fly out. You have to remain in a calm state like I'm trying to do and in the infinite supply mind state, mind, mindset, mindset. Because you are supplied for today and all of tomorrow, so you just have to be aware of it. Sorry if this is crooked, the tripod's wonky, but it's fine. As long as the message gets a crash, then whatever. King of Wands. We got the fire. Fire. <laughs> King of Wands. Creativity, passion, the drive to do what you need to do because you want to do it. That's what's there. Especially your career. A lot of people's careers are taking off. You could be doing something like this tarot reading or just a spiritual teaching want to have a spiritual retreat or whatever it may be it's going to be taking off someone's possibly going to come into the picture and point you in the right direction or be like you know what i see you i'm gonna help you or i need help can you can you come over here and help me and then that helps you you know? Ooh, dun, 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 dun. You're still not seeing certain things, but you're not meant to right now. You got denial, denial, 14, you can be seeing a lot of fives, or fours, or months, or all of the above. Then deceit. You could very well be lying to yourself about a certain situation, certain things go within. And see if that wants to come to the surf wants to come to the surface now. If not, you're not meant to hear it now. But there also is a darkness around you. Like someone in evil eye. As you gain this abundance, as you succeed in whatever in your successes in your business, there's gonna be an evil eye. Someone who wants to just throw you because they want what you got but they can't get it because you know they being all negative and shit hey it could be you're getting the abundance of a fire sign and then you're getting a new boo who's a fire sign and then there's an ex and she's like bitch you know it could be like that it could just be other things or I mainly feel it is a person who's gonna come in and try to fuck up shit. But I feel like you've been through the very depths of hell of your own making in your head, what you put yourself through to get which where you're gonna go. So you have this strength that you're just like, stop it. Like, are you done now? Can we move on? you're just over it you don't pay them any attention because are you done so don't let them that's what you say to them just fling them fling the card 
don't give them the attention if you can't help it and then awakening you're gonna get that answer that you've been looking for whatever that answer may be or the question you need the abundance of knowledge I think it just raining Sure, don't rain on my parade. Hopefully, these don't go scattering like it did for group two. Energies <laughs> recharge. Energies recharge. Anything else? You can tell group two. No. Still recording. Ironically, it's not a coincidence at all, but 4114 is what? And this is 40. Coincidence? I think not. Okay. I need to get my charger. I have it right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that before I forget. And it dies. And it just ends. For some reason, I want to point out the unicorn. <laughs> I can't find my hole. You're straight if you look at that. Okay. 40 could definitely be a, or just the number 4 could mean something to you because the battery tried to die. Yeah, we're really crooked. The tripod is wonky. I apologize. But can't do anything about it. Unless I fiddle with it for like an hour. We're moving on. Four could mean something to you. Yeah, just know something big is coming towards you. Like flying, like running. You just have to be open to it, whatever it is. Because whatever it is, it's a beautiful sight. Whether it be a person or romantic interest. It could be a fire sign once again. Or there's just a lot of fire here. Or knowledge, or answer, something you're seeking. Second cell group, three. Strength again. By the way, a way that I ground and meditate is I imagine myself as a tree. My roots are in the ground. I'm still connected to a source and the higher realms, but I'm here in the 3D present. That's why I ground, keep my shit together. Also, threes and fives, you'll be seeing a lot of those. Threes and eights, fours, fives, threes. <laughs> you got Grove, which is healing, if you want to look. Hey, look at the cat just sitting there. You might have been in hermit mode, quiet time, hermit mode where you just need to deal with your shit, be invisible for a little bit, just take a step back and heal all those wounds. That's why you're ready for this. You have crossed that barrier and you're ready to take action. Anything else? Like sail group, meditation. See, the meditation will bring the manifestation in quicker. Twos and fives. That was twenty-five. Anything else? Can tell. Group three. What is coming? What is coming for group three? I'm interested. What is coming? Surrender to source, to love, to all the things. Now it's kind of for group three. Yes. With chaos here, I don't see 
it as being a bad thing. Sometimes we need a little chaos in our lives to have fun. To ground and sit down and talk. That just went through my head. Okay, I don't know. I don't know half the shit that goes through my head. It's a party up here. It's chaotic. I am chaos. How do you do? Number nine, which is cycle completion. You're going to be swept up off your feet. But not in a bad way. It's like shit's just going to happen so fast. I should be like, I just got whiplash. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? And wait, where am I? Who are you, huh? <laughs> How did we get here? Like me after I wake up from a nap. What year is it? What also could be coming is that significant other person, your divine counterpart, which I'm sure some of you are like, no, no. I'm tired of hearing about the divine counterpart. I'm tired of the twin flame, the whole shebang. No. Which is why it could be. You gotta be open to receiving whatever's being thrown at you. Could got some lusty lust happening here, or it could be a lust for certain things, endeavors, whatever, and differences. It makes me think divine counterpart, the chaos, being swept up, the light and the dark, then the tornado of energies just swirling around each other, swirling I'm about to throw a ring off my finger, but I have to focus on what you want. If you're being told to manifest your divine counterpart, then do that shit. If you're being told to focus on your career, focus on manifesting that shit. That you finally you have to meditate and decide what you want. Get that answer. What are you looking for? Because whatever it is, it's looking for you too. You just have to slow down and see it. That tree, the strength, then just slow down and be a witness for a little bit. Then you get quiet time. You did. So quiet time, meditation, hunger down and see what needs to be done, what needs to be said where you are mentally, you know, just be a witness for a little bit to your own thoughts, to your surroundings, to what you really want, to figure out what's conditioning and what do you actually want. That is all I'm getting for you. Thank you for watching. If you want a private reading, in the description box below. If you want a live coaching session, it's in the description box below too. And I hope you have a nice day. Good day to you. Group four, those who chose is the key. What are you manifesting? What is what are you birthing? What is what's what new things are coming? I said Kindred spirits, so it could be more soul family, it could be a partnership, de uh, dealership, partnership with someone in a career that you really enjoy. Someone's gonna come up to you and be like, hey, let's do that shit. You know, the idea you had that the night before when we were drinking and you just wrote it down on a napkin. I'm on best in that shit. That would be me. Either part. <laughs> Green tarot. Tara. Tara. It's Tara. Start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. Gonna get investment or investor. Tip swords. Hope. Reminder. Don't forget to remind there. That's a reminder. Don't forget where you came from. Don't forget about 
Don't forget about us little people when you make it big. That's what we're in through my head. I told you. It's the third the card. It's chaos. It's chaos up here. For you, I feel it's a lot of business and answers on what you, you came here to do. Because you got truth. And this could be something with your divine counterpart, teamwork, whatever. Could be, or it just could be a friend. Anything is possible, because this is in general. But as soon as you see the truth, whatever the truth is, that with that C right there, <laughs> that I, infinite possibilities are going to be open to you, because you're going to understand certain things, that truth that you need to know. I don't know what it is. I don't know the knows that you need to know. And you need to forgive yourself for not being able to take everyone with you along that journey. The investment in the new path that you're walking. This looks like a graveyard. Graveyard of swords. I think it's supposed to be a graveyard. But you're the little girl. It's time you would step back or just finally step up and take. You gotta walk away. You gotta let them go. If they were meant to be with you, they would be. You have to release these people, these things, these circumstances, whatever this is, it's, you need to release. You gotta release it. Even if it's someone you thought you'd be taking with you like maybe a significant other sibling if they were meant to be with you they will be gonna get clarity on the situation you're gonna have that hope that reminder <sighs> you're just gonna have a friend who's gonna help you out bro soul fam the soul family the kindred spirit where you're cut from the same cloth and you're built you're set on this earth to maybe bring hope to people it could be something to do with health insurance I don't know something to do with health Maybe counseling, forgiveness. Some of you could be bounty hunters. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know if that's you, because that would be cool. What else can I tell group four? I feel the sadness, the weight of having to let these people go. You gotta release it. Maybe it's a reminder to release it. Don't carry that burden with you. group four needs to know what is coming maybe you want to own a shop by the beach I see a beach shop you have to release with the old to let the new in a lot of people have been having having these tower moments where everything they once thought once was they thought it was she's been crumbling bro the tower has been crumbling to the ground and you've got to rebuild and just set up the new stones, new foundation for a better future. That's the truth. Okay. What else? Like this was on the bottom. Justice could mean something to you. Maybe justice served. Maybe you're a Libra. Maybe it's a card that really wants to come out because it just flipped. Maybe you want something to do with music. But I mainly feel this is about balance. A balancing act you've been trying to juggle multiple things at once maybe family and supporting these people but you really have to step up for yourself and say brah yeah protein protein shake home skillet biscuit i don't want to be doing this anymore i want to go in this direction so bye <laughs> this came out like this Ace of Pentacles, which is a new opportunity, a new financial opportunity, any job, 
saying here. But if you do not release them, if they keep holding you back, it's going to stay like this. But if you do release them, new shit, bro. It's up to you. Then you got the Ace of Wands on the bottom. Which is creativity, passion, drive. Five. What else can I tell group four? Any other messages they need to hear? Well, we don't have all that too much time, so we're just going to pick and choose here. Which is a lot. Decision to make. So I was just saying, with the two of swords here, it could be an air sign, fire sign, earth sign. Yeah, earth. Necessary change. It could be a change in places, so you're gonna be traveling soon, or just a necessary a change of some sort. Simply releasing these people. Eight of Wands. Not really getting anything from this card, but Three of Cups. That I do see like some kind of something happening when you're out with at a party or out at the bar, out at a restaurant, and you just write something down on a napkin real quick. You know, just an idea comes out of nowhere. Just looking at her eyes, her eyes are trippy as hell, look at that. That's you being dazed by what is about to occur. That's the creativity, the passion, the drive. Where you can stare into someone's eyes and they stare into yours and they're just hypnotized. Yeah. And I do feel whatever is about to occur is destined, so you have to follow your heart, even if it hurts. The so world is being presented to you, handed to you, but you have to say goodbye, release the old for the new beginning. The new beginning. The dream that you want to happen. Phil, so you are a very lost, you don't know where to go you might have left something behind like a job or you were going to school for something and you just like this isn't work for me i'm not passionate about it i don't care what the, the teachers are saying i just don't i can't bring myself to care so you you don't know where you are this is for someone you're just lost and then the this has or will this idea will hit you And suddenly you'll have that clarity, that truth. You'll just know that this is what it's gonna happen, what's meant to be. And if you are leaving certain people behind or a place, friends, family, they truly care about you, they'll understand and they'll forgive you and they'll just be like, you gotta do what's best for you, bro. I got you. Still don't forget. Don't try to suppress all the shit that you've been through, all the hardships all of it you're supposed to remember and you're supposed to make the best out of a worse the worst situation yeah follow your path and then your dreams will come true towards that new beginning okay that is all i have for you thank you for watching if you want a private reading check the description box below if you want to follow me on social media go ahead and do that if you want to join me on patreon cool I'm getting my shit together. <laughs> Get first access to videos. And I'm gonna teach some stuff. Yeah, okay. Bye!